There are lots and lots of devices that I expect will show up on the Internet. My prediction is that there will be a lot more devices on the Internet than there are people. But some of the devices have really surprised me over the years. One of them is an Internet-enabled refrigerator with a liquid crystal touch-sensitive display or picture frames which download images off of a given web page and then cycle through them automatically. Telephones that look like telephones, but they're actually voice over IP boxes. But the one that really takes the cake is this kid that uh, was probably out surfing somewhere in San Diego. And he realized that if he had internet enabled his surfboard, he could be surfing the internet while he was waiting for the next wave to come in San Diego. So he put a laptop in his surfboard and put a Wi-Fi service station back at the rescue shack on the beach and now sells a product, an internet-enabled surfboard, something I never would have predicted. So just generally speaking, I'm expecting billions of devices to show up on the net. Some you see every day, like I do. I'm in a lot of hotels these days. I see web TVs there all the time. Personal digital assistants are online, mobiles, video games, the picture frames, the washing machines even are online, uh, and that surfboard. I've been wondering, you know, what would you do with an internet-enabled refrigerator? And uh, if you step back for a minute and think about RFID chips, these radio frequency ID uh, devices that are typically used as you go through the toll road to decrement your account, if you imagine putting RFID chips in the products that you put inside the refrigerator, eventually the refrigerator has an idea of what it has inside of it if it has an RFID detector. So while you're off at work, your refrigerator is surfing that, looking for recipes that it knows it can make with what it has inside, and when you come home, you see a nice list of things for dinner. Now, you can extrapolate this a little bit. You can imagine being on vacation and getting an email that's from your refrigerator <laughs> and saying, uh, I don't know how much milk is left, but it's going to crawl out on its own because it's three, three weeks old. Or maybe you're shopping and your mobile goes off. It's an SMS from your refrigerator. Uh, don't forget the marinara sauce. I have everything else I need for spaghetti dinner tonight. Now, the Japanese have done a really bad thing. They've invented an internet-enabled bathroom scale. Uh, so when you step on the scale, it figures out which mem member of the family you are. It's part of the house network, and it transmits the data to your uh, doctor to become part of your medical record, which is, seems like a reasonable thing to do. The problem is that the refrigerator is on the same network. <laughs> so uh, you know, you come home, and you see diet recipes up on the display. Or maybe it just refuses to open because it knows you're on a diet. <laughs> uh, 